What is up everyone? All right, wow. I have not done the speed reviews video in a minute. I was kind of looking back because I try not to repeat anything. Uh, just trying to see what have I reviewed recently and what new products I've tried. Have I not shared a more final review? That's what we're doing today. I'm gonna try to go quickly through each product because we do have a lot, that's the whole idea. Sometimes I forget, sorry, I've got my Beagle Boy in here. Pinocchio, you used to watch in. Um, sometimes I forget that the whole point of these videos was for them to be like faster reviews of a lot of products and I end up just spending my sweet, sweet time on every product. So I'll try to go a little quicker, but you know, come on. I still want to talk about them. <laughs> we have a lot of drugstore that I've tried in the past couple of months. Um, let's just dive in. I, I don't know why I keep prefacing things for 10 minutes. All right. So I, I am wearing nearly every single product we're talking about and you'll get to see me apply it kind of as a quick overlay because I want you to really see these in action. So first thing I applied today is the love yourself beauty or LYS triple fix serum foundation. This I really like, however, there is a big caveat. I do feel like if you have super oily skin, this may not be for you. This is a super hydrating type of foundation. I don't think it's like overly dewy or glowy, like it's nowhere near. You guys remember the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation? That stuff was like the dewiest foundation I have literally, literally ever tried. Uh, it's not anywhere near that, but it definitely is hydrating to the point where I think that if you have even combo skin, it might slip around on you. You might consider pairing it with a more gripping primer or a more pore filling one. I've tried the Love Yourself Beauty, I think it's like their sticky primer. I still don't know how I feel about that, which is why I'm not talking about it today. I like it okay with this, but it's not my, they're not my favorite together, but I really do personally like this. The reason I do really like this though is the way it makes my skin look. At least for the first half of the day, it looks really healthy, really pretty. I would consider this a medium coverage foundation. It's slightly buildable with the second layer. Um, but it's not super high coverage. It's just pretty. You know what I mean? It's just a pretty foundation. Every time I put this on my skin, I never have anything to complain about. Really, the only complaint I have is that I do feel like after five or six hours, it starts to slip around a bit. So also setting it with a powder, of course, helps. And again, LYS Beauty is a black owned makeup brand. It's a lot more affordably priced at Sephora compared to their other brands. So that is nice too. It's kind of in that mid range. I think that foundation's around $20 and they have a ton of shades, which is awesome too. The shade match is really pretty good for me. I have LP4. I was gonna say, I feel like a lot of these products have like, like I have caveats for everything, but that is the reality of makeup. Like even the best product in the world to you might really not work for someone else. So I try to share that. We'll, we'll see if I, is this camera crooked? <laughs> I've ordered, okay, so I have to tell you a little story time. Taylor Wynn is an actual earth angel. She texted me recently with some amazing like accessories for my like vlogging camera. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you're the best. Like, thank you so much. Cause there are just certain things you really do need to make the Sony ZV-1 like really perform really well. It's an awesome camera as it is, but anyway. So she sent me those and then I was like, hey, and also can you help me with lights? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't believe I have, I have done so much research and I've never been able to really find something I felt confident in lighting wise. Cause I've still got my ring light and while it works, I have it on today cause it's a little bit rainy. It's always rainy. I feel like when I'm filming, um, I don't know. I just need lights to light up the background and just things like that. And she sent me so much helpful stuff. So thank you Taylor so much. So I've ordered a bunch. We'll be messing with that over the next few weeks and I'm excited they're not in yet. They'll be in hopefully this week. So I wanted to share that because I do feel like lighting for me has been something, like I said, that I've always struggled with. And that's why I love natural light. When I can use it, it it's just the best, but it's not always dependable, you know? Some of you guys are like, Jessica, I don't care. <laughs> so this one is interesting. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal True Match eye cream in a concealer. Okay. I don't think I would ever buy this again, but I don't think it's totally bad. I think the way that this is useful is if you are using it to like quickly run errands because it has more coverage than, you know, like what is it? The Milani eye brightener type thing that I've used recently. I like that. Okay. But it doesn't have like a ton of coverage. It's not really supposed to. That's not what it's marketed to do. This definitely has more concealing qualities and I'll show you me applying it right now. It does conceal a bit, but because it is kind of like an eye cream as well, it definitely moves around. So you cannot apply this with a sponge. I'll tell you that right now. 
So I did one side with my finger and one side with the brush. It looks pretty similar. I think it works best with your finger because again, it's so moisturizer like, but with a little bit of coverage. So I think it can work and I don't think it looks terrible. It's my only concealer I have on today and I think it looks fine, but it's just not the best that's out there. But again, if you like a lighter coverage concealer, I need to organize here because I've got stuff spread out everywhere and I need to make sure. All right, so brows. This is the Kosas Brow Pop. I have it in medium brown. So it's got the pencil on one side and it's kind of more of a tiny triangular shape. And then it's got this spoolie on the other. The packaging, 10 out of 10. I just think this is so pretty. And I think it's not bad. I used it in my brows today, but here I have two little complaints. First of all, it's a very, very dry pencil to the point where you have to warm it up every time you use it, like every time. So just knowing that on that note, because it is a little bit drier, once you get it on, it doesn't budge in a good way. Like you can blend it for a second, but it really does stay in place. So I love that about this. However, it also, all of the ones I have, I have a couple shades, they all fall out. So I don't know if it was just the batch I got. I don't know if it's because it's so dry, they all like detached from the adhesive or whatever that was at the bottom. I don't know, but all of the ones I have do that. So it's gotta be something going on. Again, is it that big of a deal? No, but when you're paying a lot of money for a brow pencil, I kind of think it is a big deal. So I like it. I don't know necessarily that it's any better than a lot of the drugstore ones I already love. So, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to, I feel like I'm already starting off kind of negative, but mm, I do have a lot of things I love. All right, let's pick one that I am loving. This Rare Beauty highlighter, okay. Wow, um, this is one that I think even when I tried it in the video, the like testing Rare Beauty video, I liked it, but the more I've used it, the more I've grown to really like it. It is a very liquidy, high intensity highlighter, but look how pretty it can look on the skin. Like I feel like it makes you look like your skin's healthy and it still has that highlighter look, but it's not the same intensity that like that a high intensity highlighter powder would do. You know what I mean? This looks a little more natural. So I'll show you the way I apply it. I just kind of tap it in my highlightery regions and then I blend it in with my fingers. That's pretty much that. Uh, it's just pretty. It's forgiving. You've got time to work it in and I just love it. I think the packaging is kind of cool and unique. I'm probably never going to run out of product here. So I have the shade Enchant. I definitely, that's definitely my favorite shade of the ones I've tried for my skin tone. Y'all, we watched In the Heights last night. <laughs> if you like, first of all, if you like Hamilton and like Lin-Manuel Miranda and stuff, uh, it was like one of his earlier musicals. I say earlier, I mean, it was a few years before uh, Hamilton and I loved it way back then. I remember we saw a production of it in London. It was, that was pretty good. Uh, anyway, it was like a theater that was like under a train station or like in a, it was a, it was bizarre, the theater, but it was really good. Anyway, one of my favorite musicals and the movie was so good. Tyler and I literally had the goosebumps the whole first like 10 minutes of it and we both cried the last half of it. So it is such a good movie musical. Even if you're not into musicals, you might like this one. So I know you can watch it. We watched it on HBO and I'm pretty sure they have it in theaters as well. Like you could go and see it if you wanted. Anyway, so this one I don't think was worth the money. This is from Patrick Ta. Uh, it's the Brow Shaping Wax. <laughs> I knew I would do that, wax. It's in the shade Clear, so it's in no shade. Mine keeps falling out, I don't know. Could be that I sprayed it too much because the way you're supposed to use it is to spray it with like a setting spray or whatever. I just typically use the Mac, Mac Fix Plus. And then you just get a brow spoolie, kind of rub it in there and put it on. The reason I, my initial complaints with this was that I would use a lot of it and it's supposed to kind of keep your brows in place but not like be super hard, but it would leave white little bits all throughout my brows. So a lot of you guys said just use less and it'll fix that problem. So I did and it did fix the problem. I have it in my brows today. I just don't feel like I need this product. So I think if you have super unruly brows, you might like that if you tend to like waxes. But I feel like for a lot of us, it's not a totally necessary step. But the one thing that's nice, I typically just use like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel if I'm feeling like I want to tamp my brows down a bit. Um, but that can sometimes be a little bit hard. And if you don't like that, you might like this because this is more like soft to the touch. You know what I mean? So this is not my lips right now, but I do have a clip of me wearing it. This is from Kapari. It's their Lip Glossy in Birthday Suit. I know I mentioned this in one of my vlogs like last month. 
This is just the prettiest. It's like a comfy lip balm, but it has this slightly like grayish pink color tone to it. And I just think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You can wear it with a mask and not really worry about it getting everywhere because it is, you know, not super pigmented. But I just feel like it makes my lips look really pretty. And I'm gonna be honest, it makes me feel, like it reminds me of glosses I used to wear in like early high school that were like this kind of grayish pink. I don't know, like it was just, and maybe that's a very personal thing, but it makes me think of those glosses. And so I love it, but it also has like that natural coconut scent that a lot of Kapari products have that I really like. So that's like a perfect purse gloss. I was gonna say the elephant in the room, but it's, it's absolutely not the elephant in the room. I don't know why I was gonna say that. The Fenty Beauty uh, Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I have it in 170. I like to go a little bit deeper than my skin tone for powder foundations. I just, not like crazy deeper, but a little bit deeper than maybe I would with like a foundation because I feel like it just looks a little bit better on the skin. Sometimes when a powder foundations, your skin tone are a little bit lighter. I feel like it emphasizes like peach fuzz and just like imperfections. I don't know, I'm probably in my head, but that's just what I do. I like this, I really do. It really does remind me of the L'Oreal Infallible. I did a whole dupes video just on this versus that. They are so similar, you guys. So that's kind of the case where I don't think you need to spend the money. However, I really do like this powder. It adds coverage to the skin, it mattifies. You can apply it just with a brush the way I did today in my T-zone or you can, of course, apply it with the sponge it comes with. You can apply it with, well, I like to apply it with a moist beauty sponge. Sorry, dampened, sorry, <laughs> said moist. Moist, 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 sorry. <laughs> anyway, I, I like it, I really do. And if you like to support Fenty Beauty or if you just love a lot of their products and you really think you'd like this, I, I feel like it's great, but again, you really could save the money at the L'Oreal, but both are awesome. Speaking of the drugstore, a drugstore favorite, the Physicians Formula Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. This. Wow, okay, it has a really strong smell. Um, I love the product itself. The smell is the most overwhelming smell I have in anything in my makeup collection, seriously. So if you know that is gonna bother you, or honestly, if you're like pregnant, sensitive to smells, anything, stay far, far, far. Just trust me, stay far away. <laughs> it is, I, it's so strong, I have to shut it. So. That is my biggest thing, but the actual product is so beautiful. I feel like it'd be so cool if Physicians Formula like released these, but then had unscented versions too. Because I get that some people like it, or they, but it's... <laughs> but the tone of this is very summery for me. It's a little bit oranger than a lot of bronzers, which I know would kind of turn most people off, I know, but I feel like in the summertime, that's kind of the bronze I want, where you feel like you're on vacation. I'm gonna be honest, These the ring light does wash it out a bit, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more so you can see it. In person it looks nice, but you know, it just washes you out. But I just feel like, especially with a more diffused brush like this EcoTools one, um, it can just look so summery, you know what I mean? I don't think this is something I'm gonna be reaching for a ton in the winter when I'm, you know, I'm always pretty fair, but you know what I mean? But I really do like it and it's worth looking into if you're wanting more of a summery, vacation-y bronzer. I think that's a nice one. Uh, okay, let's talk about eyeshadow. I have a couple things to talk about. So first of all, ColourPop quads, wow. I'm sure you've heard if you watch YouTube beauty videos, you've probably already heard about these. They're incredible. They really, really genuinely are. They really are worth that hype. It's just for the price point you can get them and the different color options they have. This is my personal favorite cream soda. It's very much just an everyday for me kind of a palette. It's such a pretty combo of shades. The mattes are beautiful. Everything blends really easily together. They really are stupid. They're just so beautiful. By the way, I always get questions about my watch band. I got it on Etsy. I can link it below. This is actually the second one I bought from this brand. I originally had like the, I think it was called mink or something like that, or maybe stone, but it was more of like a grayish. Well, I ruined it because I worked out in it way too many times because I was too lazy to take this off and switch to another band. So I'm going to be better about it this time, but this is the new one I got. This shade, I think I like even more. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to mention it because it's my favorite Apple watch band I've ever owned and they have a lot of different like colors and tones. They have like leopard. Anyway, so I love these. I did use this lighter shade in cream and soda all over the lid. It's just so beautiful, but I do have something on top of it. So I, I want to stop you there before you add this to your cart. Not that you shouldn't because it's awesome, but just hold on, <laughs> hold your horses. I also topped it with this Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector. This is like such a superstar product in my collection. It looks so, not even unassuming, but kind of like when I, 
first learned about it, I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to use it because it's labeled as a highlighter. I'm like, I am not putting that on. Like it would just look crazy, but it gives your eyes this kind of wet look to them without ever having to break out a setting spray to make it wet or anything like that. I literally just get it on my finger, tap it on. And no matter what I'm tapping it on top of, it looks so beautiful and kind of like wet and glittery, but I don't notice like crazy fallout with this or anything. So love this. I did get the shade bronze or bronzite or something. I still like the white one better. This one's in the shade quartz. It just, this gives the dramatic effect I want. And again, it's not going on white. Like it has some of that tone, but you can, I happen to put it on more of a white like color. You can tap it on any color and it just looks beautiful. So if you're going to get one, I still think quartz is the move. So that's what I have on top of the cream soda shade. And then the makeup by Mario palette, it's the master mattes eyeshadow palette. I have to say the last matte palette that I remember feeling strongly about, cause I'm not big, like I use matte shadows like in the crease pretty much exclusively, but I haven't really like cared to like buy matte palettes in years. But the last one I remember caring this much about was the Viseart matte palette, like their original super holy grail status palette. Like everyone had it. This one is just like that. It is so highly blendable. I'm not like, I'm not intimidated to use these darker colors in the in the outer corner because they blend in so easily. Like you do not need to be a pro to use these, especially if you're typically intimidated by darker matte shadows. Guys, these just like blend. And so I use my two favorite shades that I definitely use the most is this shade. There is my favorite crease shade. That's what I used. And then this kind of chocolatey brown is what I use in the outer corner, but I also love that one there. Oh, it's such a good matte palette. If you feel like you've tried a lot of matte shadows and you're like, I just, I don't love any of them, but you really want some, this is expensive, but it might be worth the investment because you really won't need any other matte palette. You know what I mean? It's got it all. All right, so something that I didn't love as much as I think a lot of you guys did, and I was kind of bummed about it, it's the Maybelline Snapscara. Tried this a month or two ago. Well, probably a couple months ago now. Okay, so I'd been looking for a, what is it called? A tubing mascara from the drugstore because I love the Hourglass Unlocked tubing mascara, the Thrive Cosmetics one, but those are all like 30 bucks. I'm tired of spending the money on them. So I've been using more of just other mascaras that are cheaper because I'm like, I can't find a dupe. I've tried a lot from the drugstore, you guys, trying to find a tubing one. A lot of you guys recommended this. I know it's pretty big on TikTok. One thing I've noticed about a lot of TikTok recommended products that just kind of blow up, a lot of times they're not that great. <laughs> Does anyone else notice that? Not all of them. It's not a blanket statement, but I feel like a lot of ones that get a lot of hype don't end up being that great. <laughs> I don't know. So this is one of those, but um, I know a lot of you guys do love it. So I'm not trying to say it's terrible. It's, I have it on this eye right now. I have a different one over here we'll talk about in a sec, but I think it can look nice. I do think straight out of the bottle the first week or two, it's not really, it's not great. I and it clumped my lashes together, not in a flattering way. And it just, it didn't look good. So definitely giving it some time to dry out. I do think it can separate really nicely. It curls them. It just doesn't have the va va voom volume. Oh, I should have said va va volume. What a missed opportunity. <laughs> but it just doesn't have the va va voom I want. Okay. And I found in another mascara. So I, I wouldn't buy it again. That's kind of my thought. It, it's fine. I don't feel like it's tubing though, but again, that usually has to do more with the removal process. Um, and now I'm not remembering how this removes. I feel like when I'm removing my, when I'm removing my makeup, man, I'm just going to town. I'm not even paying attention. So I need to pay attention to that more. But, but the mascara I have over here is the number seven full 360 ultra. I think they have a full 360, but listen up. You got to get the ultra. If you want this kind of volume, ah, oh, this is a goodie. This is a goody. I just feel like when you're comparing the two, I don't think either of them look bad, but this one definitely has more volume. It took less time and it gave more volume. Like I had to put on like two coats of this and that's as far as I could get. This one was like one coat and that's that. Uh, this is the second one of these I bought because I do think it dries out a little bit quickly. It's not a super dry formula like the Lash Paradise, but it, I do just think it dries out like after about two months instead of like three or four months. So that's something to know. You can get number, you can find this on Target's website. I don't know if it's in store. I feel like it's been a while since I've gone to the like Target beauty section and like spent time there, but it's, it's truly a favorite. I brought it with me on my trip to Disney recently. It's just my favorite. So this liner, okay. I clearly love one more than the other. It's from makeup by Mario. I have the brown and the black. 
okay, I like the brown better, clearly, which is insane. And if you had asked me like a year ago, if I would have a brown eyeliner that I loved, I'd be like, no, I always strictly use black. But this brown, it's literally called the perfect brown because it's such a deep brown. And I'm wearing the black one today because I honestly, I hadn't used it in a while. And I was like, I wanna make sure it performs the way I remember it performing. These are very, very creamy. They stay in place really well. And what I love about them is they have this little brush on the other side. And today I use that to flick out the pencil liner. And because it is a creamy formula, you have time to do that. And it is the easiest thing in the world. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a liner I repurchase again and again. The one thing I've noticed, and actually I hadn't really noticed it until today, was that this brown one does not transfer to the waterline. Like I like to put it on my upper waterline and it doesn't transfer down, but the black one does. Now the brown I'll notice maybe sometimes a little transfer in the like right there, but once I wipe it off once it's good, but the black transfers all the way through. Again, once it's done it once and then it like dries, I can typically just like wipe it off and move on. And for some of you guys, you won't even care because you put it in your waterline on the bottom anyway and it doesn't matter. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. The brown doesn't transfer as much, um, but yeah, I'm just blown away by this. And the reality is I, you know, over the years I've fallen in love with so many drugstore liners that I'm like, mm, do you really need to pay for the high end? But these are really good liners. This is a long video and I'm really not going speedy through them. Sorry guys. All right, so this is one that I had had on my wish list for like four, five years, maybe three or four years, a long time. I finally bought it. It's the Makeup Forever little pro sculpting palette. I got it in number 20. It's all cream, which I love. They're smaller pans though. So I was like, okay, how am I gonna use this? So I have grown to use this with my fingers and then maybe use a brush or sponge to blend it in. I think this is really pretty, but you have to be kind of careful with it because they're you know, pretty emollient, which is nice, but because they are really emollient, I do feel like sometimes if you over blend them onto your face, they will move around the makeup underneath. So that's true for really any cream product, but it, you just need to be aware of that, especially with this one. So I use the contoury shade just kind of in the hollows of my cheeks today. And I do feel like it can give a really natural look to the skin, like give that natural looking shadow. And again, because these are cream, they don't pick up on imperfections as easily. I use the cream blush on my cheeks. Again, I just tap it in with my fingers and leave it. And then one shade I don't use a lot is this light shade. So they have like a highlight shade, but they also have this one that's a matte highlight. So I, today it's super creamy and super brightening. I tapped it onto the center of my forehead and down my nose. I really just don't use it, but I was like, well, I wanna see. And I do feel like it brightened those areas up nicely. Is that something I always have the time for? Not really, but I did think it was pretty. This is pricey. You know you would use at least three of the four, or especially if you would use all four of these, and especially if you're looking for something smaller, more compact, so that you don't have a separate cream bronzer, cream blush, cream, you know, then you might really like this, but if you don't feel like you'll use most of them, it, it's, it's just not gonna be worth it for you, you know? On my lips is a favorite gloss formula, the Tower 28 Lip Glossy, oh no, Shine On Lip Jelly. So my newest shade is Cashew. This pink one I've had a while, so it's not really a review on this, this is Coconut. Cashew I think I like more. It's closer to my lip color. It's just such a comfortable gloss. I really haven't tried a lot of glosses that feel like this, because it's kind of like a lip oil with color and it's just they're so comfortable they are very forgiving on the lips i feel like they kind of smooth the lips out a bit and i just i really really think these are amazing and if you feel like you're in a lip gloss rut <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that is but you know if you're in a lip gloss rut and you really don't have one you just love you might try these because they're very different than like anything else <sighs> that was a lot i hope that was fun to watch i love doing these i, I really do them like every I try to do them every other month. Sometimes it's like every three months, but you know, I like doing first impression-y like try on videos, but it can be really overwhelming if I'm never circling back and being like, okay, but how do I feel about these? You know what I mean? And these videos are really helpful for me personally in doing what I do here on YouTube and talking about makeup and beauty stuff. So I hope they're fun, enjoyable, entertaining, whatever to watch. And if you did enjoy it, I do have a whole playlist of these. I've done like I think seven of them, maybe even eight of them now. This might be number nine. I was looking at my playlist, but anyway, I have a playlist I'll link below if you wanna watch a couple more of them. 
um, because like I said, I don't really repeat anything. I'm just doing products that I've been that were newer to me that I've been trying. So I love you all. Thanks for subscribing. If you are subscribed and you have not hit that notification bell to turn on your notifications, please do. That will alert you right away when I upload a new video. I'm typically lurking in the comments, chatting back with you guys when I can there in the first like hour of uploading it. I love you all. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, okay? I, I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. I need to go eat some lunch. But I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. Bye, get out of here.